That right there is saxophonist Dave Kaz and his single Summertime in NYC featuring Brian McKnight, a platinum selling artist who has nine Grammy nominations, 12 number one albums on Billboard's current contemporary jazz albums chart, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, an upcoming Christmas concert, a spot on my Spotify morning playlist. Dave is joining us this morning from his Los Angeles home studio. Dave, I mean, I know that that was like the least of the distinction oh. there, but I listen to you and love listening to you. Angie, first of all, thank you for having me on Great Day Live. But second of all, you're, the last thing you said is going at the top of my resume. <laughs> I made it to Angie's Angie's Spotify playlist. Yes. Well, it is. I mean, I figure if we can have Christmas in July, we can have summertime all year round. I absolutely, not only do I just, I love that song. I mean, I just, I love it. I love the album. But the fact that you dropped this album during a pandemic, I mean, talk about that. What was what was that process like? I mean, especially for someone as accomplished as you to do all of that in the midst of this. Well, it was my first ever virtual album. I'd never done one of those before, but because there was a pandemic going on, we recorded this album basically in May and June of 2020. And there, there was obviously some significant challenges uh, because normally when you make an album, everybody's together in the same room because we couldn't do that. Um, we had to do it a, a different way. But the nice thing is that all of my musician friends and the guest artists, Brian McKnight, David Sanborn's on this album, the incredible Bob James, uh, and all these musicians and singers, everybody was home because they were uh, not out on the road where they would normally be. So everybody was sidelined and they had this pent up energy this creative energy to uh, to make this music together. So we all just banded together. We would send files. The to modern technology is such that you can do it this way. And in about two months, we had a full album of music that just felt so, I mean, it was the first time that all of us had this one intention, just one uh, plan for this album, and that is to uh, uplift and inspire people and give people just some good vibes at a time when when music, you know, sometimes music does it, does it for you because you talk about how much music uh, inspires you. Music has a way of making us feel better in times when there's, you know, the words can't. And boy, what a year we've had. So I hope that this album, A New Day, brings some comfort and, and joy to people. That's all we wanted to do. Dave, is that where the title came from? Yeah, A New Day kind of reflects uh, my own personal uh, New Day because this is my 30th anniversary album, believe it or not. I started and it came out on October 9th, which is 30 years and one day after my first album came out. And this has been a magic carpet ride for all these years of uh, getting a chance to travel the world and, and share my music. So this was a nice thing for me personally as a New Day. But then with the pandemic and now with the election, there's so there is a lot of new energy that we're moving towards. And I, I feel uh, like we are going to, uh, hopefully, God willing, a better time. I have to ask you, though, to take a look back just for a second. I mean, you, like you said, I mean, you released it literally three decades from your first album to the week. Do you remember yourself 30 years ago? I mean, it, the Hollywood, you know, Walk of Fame star and all the different people, the greats being being a great. I mean, all of these accolades. Did you did you know? that this is who you were going to be or this is how your life would be? Not in a million years, Angie. This is all a big surprise to me. I do remember though, my the, there's a, a record cover from my first album, which is the most embarrassing picture. And the thing is that you can't, it's like if you're in your family, you can find the pictures in your family and, and put them in a drawer and, and keep them for safekeeping. Uh, when you have an album cover that's out there, that picture's out there for the rest of my life. <laughs> and so I uh, encourage your, if you want to have a nice laugh, I encourage your viewers to go online, just Google Dave Cause, and you'll see my first album picture. It's very, very embarrassing. But, you know, as much as I did have the mullet, all right, and, and I believe that mullets may be coming back, and if they are, I'm so there. Um, I mean, you understand, though, that we are in Kentucky and Indiana territory, and I have to tell you, I have some friends who... They're still rocking mullets. So you're <laughs> saying never let it go. <laughs> you know, this has been, I mean, it, it's just been such an interesting, to say the least, time for all of us, but especially in the arts, finding ways to continue to connect with others. You've done it, you keep doing it. And not only have you done it, but you're going to be doing that December 12th, a, a virtual concert to connect others and get us in the holiday spirit. Can you tell us a little bit about that? 
Well, this would have been our 23rd annual Dave Cos and Friends Christmas show. We've been doing it for a very, very long time, every single year across the country. And because of uh, COVID-19, of course, we can't do that. So we're doing the next best thing, and that is doing a Christmas live stream. It's on Saturday, December 12th. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, 5 p.m. In, in the West Coast and 8 p.m. in the East Coast. It's a live show. It's one time only. We've never done anything. It's called The Greatest Hits of Christmas. And if you're a fan of jazz music, you'll love the lineup. We've got Jonathan Butler, Rick Braun, Richard Elliott, David Benoit, Peter White. We're going to be introducing a wonderful female vocalist named Rebecca Jade on this show, too. And it's just going to be filled with nostalgia, love, uh, that that peace kind of thing. With the, You know, Christmas music, I'm Jewish. When I've been playing Christmas music, I have something like six Christmas albums I've been doing on the, the tours for so many years. I love the way Christmas music makes you feel. Holiday music just makes you feel good. It reminds you of simpler times and that innocence that we all had. And I think if there ever was a year, Angie, that we needed a little Christmas, it's 2020. So we're really looking forward to it. People can find out about the show or purchase your tickets at my website, which is davecause.com. I have to tell you, when you said people need a little Christmas, um, I'm among those who started decorating immediately after Halloween. So we're going to stay in this Christmas spirit I, as far as I know. I mean, I'm going way into 2021. But before you play that song, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, if you said it was, it was summertime all year round, why can't it be Christmas time all year round? Exactly. At the same time. Yes, exactly. But wanted to ask you just a, a few quick hit answers. So just off the top of your head. Okay. During this most challenging time, what has been your go to comfort food? Oh, my God. Um, I would say that it would be this this amazing chicken that is made by the panini grill. It's like a uh, kebab chicken and it melts in your mouth and it fills you up and it's got that beautiful rice and you get the hummus on there. I can go on and on about it, but I'll stop now. That sounds amazing. Okay, when you are not listening to yourself, which of course you would have to do since you are a musician and you you need to play, who are you listening to? Who's on your playlist? Okay, don't uh, don't judge, but Justin Bieber's last album called Changes, I rock that all the time. I don't know something about that album gets me going. It's it's, it's not super high energy. It's just kind of nice. It just feels right. His voice, the whole thing. Okay. We do not judge on this show. and We rock Justin Bieber um, and often, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to Christmas music, what is the one Christmas song that you would be okay if it went the wayside of 2020? Oh, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of those. <clears throat> I think it was uh, how the, the, um, the, uh, the Grinch, that one that you hear on the, when all the stations go, go full, uh, Christmas and they play that Grinch one that just stands out. It's, there's not very nothing Christmassy about that. Give me uh, Ella Fitzgerald. Give me Frank Sinatra. Give me Dean Martin. Give me Nat King Cole. Uh, those are the the classics. Is what you really really want. Uh, at least for me, that's what I want to hear at Christmas time. I love that. Okay, one wish for 2021. Oh, peace. And I know that it may sound cliche. But we are in such a period of conflict in our country, and, and as evidenced by this last uh, uh, the week with the election and the post-election and everything, there's so many people that are, that are feeling this, this uh, uh, conflict, and it's very, very – it's hard to watch. It's hard to feel. My prayer, and it's a very simple prayer, is that we, we can find a way to hear each other and see each other and listen to each other in the new year and always. Okay, and last question. What has been the biggest blessing for you, Dave, in 2020? In, the, in 2020, the biggest blessing for me, Angie, is this, this saxophone. Uh, it is, you know, uh, for me, it's a chance to uh, deal with a lot of the emotions. We're all dealing with so many emotions this year. We've all got PTSD from 2020. And the moments that I can just sit here with the saxophone, perhaps play for people, uh, but really play for myself and comfort myself. This has been a, an amazing thing to be able to reconnect with this instrument that I played for 45 years. This year in 2020, it's been a wonderful reconnection. Well, thank you so much, Dave. Coming up, we'll get an opportunity to hear him actually play just for Great Day Live. You'll find Dave on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. You can see all of the handles on your screen right now. Or visit DaveCos.com, and that's where you also can get information about his December 12th live virtual concert. And to get us in the holiday spirit, Dave's going to play just for us coming up.